Hello everyone, this is Alan. Everyone must be very, very quiet because we don't want to scare the rabbit or disturb my wife. So be very, very quiet. But we've got some extra paint left over. So I'm going to do a little sneaky painting here, uh, doing a dirty pour with some of the leftover paints from our last video. So I have some white and some hooker's green already in this cup. Um, I'm going to add Soho's Ked yellow green. Remember, shh, be very, very quiet. Going to add a little creative inspiration. It's cadmium yellow. And then left over in the other cup is the black. I'm going to add a little more iridescent green to that. And again, we got to be very, very quiet. Then we've got Rumbacher's Prussian Blue Iridescent. And lastly, we have some of the, I believe this is uh, turquoise blue. Got to be very clean, too, because somebody gets angry when I make a mess. So, I'm going to start out with the black along with the iridescent green then I'm going to go with that second cup with the white and the yellow and the cadmium yellow Cuppy hand out. Just go move it around a little. Shh, I hear you snickering in the background. Stop that. For those that are watching this, she might hear you. Hey, babe. Yes, dear. I got an idea for Monday night. What are you doing? Uh, just, are you painting unsupervised? I'm just using up some extra paints from the last video. Oh. See, somebody wasn't very quiet. Are you fil- You're filming? <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> oh, he's sneaky. Would you use the cups that were left over from the last yes, one? Yes, I did. Because I know how you hate when I waste paint. What are you doing, a dirty pour? A two cup dirty pour. You might need a third cup, huh? No, there's plenty of paint there. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. And everybody said that I always work supervised. <laughs> Not this time you didn't. Is that the cup that I had? Started. That is the cup. That you Isn't had. it pretty? <laughs> I 
Get your corners. See, now I'm supervising. I don't think you're going to get anything coming through there. You might want to add some more paint. Whistle while you work. Now I can be use my regular voice. <laughs> Since I was caught with my apron on. I don't pay any attention to you when you talk to yourself because you're usually talking to somebody at work. I love what happened here. It just, it needs to come this way. Well, tip your green toward you. Did you layer the colors or did you pour them in the cup? I poured them in the cup. Well, they should have got some cells then. You can mix up another cup of that black and green and blue and pour through that green ribbon. shrink that green ribbon down a little. I don't think you can. No, it's shrinking now. It's very bright. That's what you get for painting unsupervised. <laughs> it's like a green river. Somebody used a little too much green. Mm, I wonder who that was, because it wasn't me. Jeez, <laughs> I don't know. I think you should mix up another cup like that other one, the black and the iridescent and the green, and, and run it right through the middle of that ribbon. Jeez, I thought I was going to get away with this. Leave a little surprise for her in the morning. Yeah, on the drying rack, and I'd be like, where'd this come from? <laughs> Did I paint that? <laughs> I agree with you. The blues have sang their selves away on this campus. You mean the green? No, the green has made itself prominent. Oh, so you want to put that with some black and some of that Prussian iridescent and some yellow? Just remember, don't put your yellow next to your black. You'll get more green. Don't want the green. You can put more of that Prussian in there. I don't want And then black. Just a little bit. Just a tad? Yeah, and you might want to give it just a tiny swirl. Give it a swirl. That's what you get for painting unsupervised. <laughs> I've created a monster. stretch it all out. Look at those pretty cells. All right, let's 
see if we can make this green become a little less. Go to the left first, so you don't lose those cells. To the left. Left and down. What you want to do is just stretch those ribbons out, Alan. Careful, you're mushing all your pretty stuff. you go keep going take it right over the edge and then you can come back towards you to bring the ribbon back and then go off on your side I love that Can you stop and show them this? I love this right here. I love the colors. Show them in the camera. That right here. Isn't that so pretty? Yeah, but now I got mucky muck down here. Well, you can pour it that way. It's knowing when to stop when you see things start stretching. Like, this is all stretched out now. And that's not mucky muck. That's lime green. I don't think you're going to get that back. Don't paint without me. Why'd you paint without me? <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> you got to learn to use paper towels and stop changing gloves. That's what they're there for. See, I should have been quieter. <laughs> Pull some of that blue out, maybe? Not this way. You can do whatever you want. It's your painting. I'm just helping you a little bit. You should be wiping that every time you come back through. You know, there is a comb there if you want to comb that out. We have lots of toys to play with. Gadget? Yeah, gadgets. That's neat. Just don't overdo it. Let's give it a torch. Let's see what we get out of this. what we got. Pretty. So the lesson learned here. Don't paint without me. <laughs> is be very, very quiet. Be very, very quieter. <laughs> so if you haven't subscribed yet, click below. 
Click on the bell for notifications of when we upload our next video. And maybe I won't catch you. <laughs> Caught with my apron on. Caught Shame with your on. apron on. Yep. Check out the links below and join us on the next one. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Good night.